Well, if one answer is that it comes from outside of the Earth, then the other answer must be that uh, maybe it came from inside of the Earth. Um, and in fact, it's as likely of a possibility as the other, and as everything in science, it's likely that it's a combination of the two. Um, rocks inside the mantle of the Earth have been shown to contain about as much water as is currently present in all of the oceans on the Earth. So um, this rock that's in the top right corner, peridotite, is a very common um, mineral and rock um, combination that is found in the mantle. Um, and uh, it's been found that about one to three percent of these rocks are made up of water. So when uh, there is a volcano that brings this rock to the surface, this rock is degassed, as is shown here, and the steam that leaves volcanoes is the one to three percent of water leaving the geosphere and entering the atmosphere. That water then uh, becomes part of the hydrologic cycle on the surface of the earth and contributes to um, liquid and gaseous water and frozen water uh, through the hydrologic cycle, which we are going to learn about shortly.